Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, we will be taking a look at the entire cryptocurrency space as a whole. We can see a, a horrible red day today, but I'm going to go through some charts with you. I think that's really powerful and can give you really good insight as to what's to come in the future. Uh, if this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're watching and I will dive into this. Before I do so, I need to let you know, I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, let's dive into it. I showed you this chart before. If you watch my channel, you usually see these videos. Uh, just to quick, uh, quickly give you a quick insight. You know, the blue videos here, uh, you know, one last pump. I do a few of them are you ready and these videos specifically focus on the entire cryptocurrency market as a whole we talk about the bitcoin press because you know if bitcoin's gonna fall the rest of the market usually tends to fall with it and the altcoins usually tend to hit hard but the same happens in reverse so you know if bitcoin's gonna rise you see these 20, 30, 40% rises with altcoins as well. So it can work in favor or against it depending on the situation of the market, right? But let's just focus on a few things. First things first, this one here. This is the line, uh, the in, what is this we're using here? The EMA 55, which was classed as the bottom of the... Uh, uh, EMA uh, bands because you have like a, a few of them right you can grab a few but I like to use the bottom one because this shows the incredible support that Bitcoin's had and you can see it here very clearly that Bitcoin's been holding incredible support now it looks like it bro it broke down a little bit but it also looks like it's being bought back up now if Bitcoin can sustain this area here which I think it might do time's gonna tell if it can sustain this line and keep above it it shows that there's a uh, very good support here and that we could see a trend reversal in the near future. And I'm going to explain my reasons why this trend reversal uh, could be significant. Uh, moving over to this chart here. Let me find it. Uh, not this one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I've got my own bloody thing up here. Here we go. This one here. Because Bitcoin looks like it's facing some sort of a falling wedge. And a falling wedge is usually a bullish sign. Now, I think I don't know the, the, the complete ratio. I don't know if it's 70% upwards, 30% downwards. You know, no one can tell you for sure which way it's going to break. But usually the ratio is higher with a falling wedge to break upwards than it is downwards. And how do you work it out? Well, you have these two lines which looks like a falling wedge. And you can work out the highest price to the lowest part. from So from here to here, you can probably extend this a little bit more. And, and that sort of gives you a price target as to how high or low it will break should it break out so if it's to break to the top you can take it just outside and pull it like that and we could potentially see bitcoin's price do a, a reversal and come up to around i'm looking at forty three thousand six hundred dollars right but at the same time if it was to break down you know we can see lower lows um just to bring it you know just to bring it out and show you we could probably see it fall down as low as uh well you know it's it's not far off from this line this red line here that i had this is saying around nineteen thousand two hundred if it was to break down but i i think it's a bullish sort of movement here and this usually tends to break up so we're going to see obviously it's battling this 21 because we're on the daily time frame right it's battling this 21 day moving average and it's a really powerful line i've been telling you guys for the longest time if bitcoin is below it it always finds it hard and it resists to break above the same as if it's above it if it's above it it rides it like a wave you can see here in the past it's just really like a wave right so i'm you know really focusing my attention on this moment here this chart here and this one here here together are powerful because it's going to tell us what kind of uh, trend we are in if we're going into this down further downtrend or if we're going to be holding support and reversing into an uptrend um let me just take a quick look at this here on the rsi as you can see down here i've drawn this line it's been like this for for months now i'm pretty sure for months and this goes this is dated right back to january of the what's this the 8th January the 8th and this we've been creating this downwards uh, resistance trend for about what well, where are we now about six months in this year and Bitcoin has you know been close to breaking it sometimes and it's been resisting it so many times but it looks like you know we could see Bitcoin break it and like I said to you before the moment we see Bitcoin break this heavy resistance line, we will see it spark up and we will see prices explode. And I'm expecting, you know, Bitcoin to 
you know, reach a higher high than what it did before. So, you know, over 65K. But first, let's focus on the now, which is, you know, really trying to understand this part and what it's trying to do because it is curdling it's been up and down in this area for the longest time it has like a resistance area here sorry a support area here and we have like a resistance area here so it's been in this sort of like box area breaking up and down for the longest time and it's been trying to decide what to do but as it's done that obviously it's been creating this pattern here which is the the falling wedge pattern one thing i want to show you which i haven't shown you on my charts is this this is the bollinger band and i noticed something really strange really interesting that could really help you on your journey to help you understand where we are going with this market now let's take a look i've drawn yellow circles at the top and green circles at the bottom this is on the weekly time frame now the bollinger band is usually good to show you when you know prices are oversold or uh sorry overbought or oversold and a lot of people use it to you know to indicate when they should be buying and selling their crypto especially when you know the prices reach out of the Bollinger Band at the top or the bottom. They usually use it on a smaller time frame. Oh, wrong thing here. They will probably go to like the daily or the four hours and use the Bollinger Band there. But I like to use it on the weekly because it gives me a you know a really huge uh, impact on the, the the charts, the market, and I can see really clearly what's going on. Let's just take a look back at 2013 because every time we've seen the price of Bitcoin. When it's hit its peak at the top of the entire peak of the, uh, the the rise, right? The entire run. We've always seen it come out of the Bollinger Band. The top blue line. You can see it here. And I'm floating the, the cursor across it, right? We've always, without foul, see it come out of the Bollinger Band, print its high, and then come back down into the Bollinger Band. And you saw it happen twice because obviously this cycle was very different to 2017, right? We had like a double top. One here, came down, and then straight up again and a lot of people think we're in this and i'm going to explain a bit more in a second and you know if we come to the next one now 2017 you can see again that every time we've hit the exact top of the bull cycle we've come out of the bollinger bands and we've printed the top and then we've come back in let's take a look at what's going on right now because if you look at today's uh you know crypto cycle of 2021 we haven't even come out of the Bollinger Band at the top. You've seen it come out like here, you know, as it's building up. And you get that a lot as well. Like when you're, you know, you're coming out here, you come out here. But we, we didn't see the exact same thing. And usually this has been correct, you know, twice uh, in 2017, 2018's top. Uh, three, three times, 2013, 2014, here and here. So I have to believe that we are still in this bull cycle. And... We will know when we've really truly hit the top because when we hit the very top of the of the cycle, it's going to come out of this Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame. And you can grab this up so you can keep an eye on it. You know, click on indicators, trading view, click on indicators and just search Bollinger Band. Usually right here, you can see it just down here at the bottom. I think it's a powerful tool on the weekly to look at because it works as powerful as when you're in a downtrend as well, when you're at the bottom of the market. And matter of fact, if you use this, on the week and you looked at it on the weekly time frame to learn when the bottom of the, the the bear market is you could be a savage and buy up the dips like crazy near enough at the bottom because have a look same thing works for when you're at the bottom when you're in the bottom of the bear market now i don't really class this one here to here because this is like 2019 2020 i don't usually class that as a bear market but you did see some bearish momentum and this was the the you know the virus breakout and we came down here we broke below the bollinger bands and I'm, as far as i'm aware i've never seen it break below the bollinger bands unless it's at its lowest of the lowest so i call it capitulation right and take a look here 2017's market uh, bull cycle straight into the bear cycle the lowest part of it came out of the bollinger band you see right here that would have been a perfect entry to buy because if you had bought like here and then you would just rode this entire market all the way up to here. You'd look like a genius. Your friends would be like, well, how did you know? How did you know? Well, easy, because you looked at the weekly Bollinger Band. So, and you know, it proves right here as well. Look, because look at the entire market of the last one. So you had the, the massive run up. 2013, 2014's bear market came right down. And look at what happened in the bear market. Where was the lowest part? Outside the Bollinger Band on the weekly. You can see it right here.
And that's, you know, this is a powerful tool to use when you want to try and decide if, you know, where are you in the market? And when I look at, again, when I look at today, right, if we are to break out downwards, which I'm not sure if we are or not, but if we are, you could probably call it a market cycle bottom, meaning that entire cycle that we've had, it could be the bottom. But, the, uh, you know, time's going to tell. I don't think we are at the bottom because, again, I haven't seen this massive spike out at the very top of the because you know if they you know had this been the top had this been the top of the market and you know this candle right here was out here then i would have said guys you know what <laughs> you know this is the top of the market it's showing the exact same thing what's happened before and you know it's confirmed it in the past twice accurately three times accurately i have to agree that we might see some you know further downside uh, over the next year or two but you know i i don't see that and because i don't see that i have to you know go with what i see and i think that this is just you know market manipulation and giving people maybe an incredible opportunity to buy prices sorry burp, burp action <laughs> buy uh crypto incredibly cheap uh it's just just depending on your mindset are you someone that panics at times like this or are you someone that takes the opportunity i don't know all i know is that i'm a long-term trader and i'm gonna wait because you know i've been waiting for however long right back from wherever long so i'm just gonna wait patiently because i think in three to five years things are gonna look different and if you're still in this game you're gonna be like damn I really wish I bought these massive dips. Really, really wish I did. And, you know, only you can decide if you want to do that or not. No one can force you to do it. We can only show you, as YouTubers and stuff, show you what we see, right? But this is powerful. Keep an eye on this because, you know, this really holds true to what it's saying. And I think that we've got a good indicator here to look at, to know when we are near enough at the top of the cycle and when we're at the bottom of the cycle, okay? Like I said, if you want to grab it up, very simple. Click on indicators, search Bollinger Bands. It's on the weekly. I haven't changed nothing. I just kept it how it is. Uh, what else have I got? So I've spoke about this, which is powerful. Spoke about this. This is something to keep an eye on in the short term as well, this next week or two to see what's going to happen. It looks like it's getting brought back up. Time's going to tell. If we print a new low low out of this yellow line here, because like I said, I'm not seeing Bitcoin print. Uh, a lower low out of this in a in a bull trend then we may see further downside action and it may extend guys to about six months you know i'm talking november december time that's what i'm thinking uh but time's gonna tell uh it does look it does look like it's forming this bullish uh falling wedge which time's gonna tell it can come down you know we could probably see it come right down to here to be honest with you and still be in this falling wedge let me just draw it oh that's the wrong that's the wrong line <laughs> Let me get rid of that real quick. Uh, I was trying to draw it down here. You know, we could see prices come down to about here, which is 29,000 just under, and then peak back up. And you could still be in this falling wedge, and then it breaks up, right? So time's going to tell. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you. Let me just quickly have a look at what's going on with the fear and greed. Everybody's still in extreme fear right now. Uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's not a nice thing to go through, but you know, it's one of those ones where do you be greedy when others are fearful or do you remain fearful with everyone else so others can be greedy i don't know all i know is the last time we were down here and i said this before on the last video and i'll tell you again is back in march of that massive virus drop and look what happened after that virus drop in march we went, went and set new all-time highs months later and had you known all these people that panic sold here they probably regret it because they had the opportunity to like sell at 65k and all sorts so you know just just bear that in mind and if we do see Bitcoin's price run up, I expect a huge alt market, altcoin season to, to spark off again. And we may see further, you know, highs with the altcoin market in the season to really like pump up. So that's what I'm looking at for. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I just wanted to share this with you. Just dropped, you know, early mornings waking up, just doing this. I just had to share something with you, uh, something fresh organic like tesco's if you're what am i laughing for anyway if you're a patron of mine big up to you you're seeing things that people don't see and if you guys want to become a patron as well you're welcome to do so i have seven tiers take your pick i recommend my buy so stay collect so you don't miss nothing it's called the exclusive vip partner tier you've got the crypto buddy tier the crypto gang tier crypto family you can scroll down and check them out click on the posts so you don't miss nothing you can see and update yourself on things that we're looking at they're seeing videos right now that are going to come up on youtube in the next couple of days uh but yeah thank you all for watching hopefully this was helpful to you if it was please drop that like give me a subscribe 
And I'm going to leave it here. Going to do a shout out to my Patreons. I need to do this because I appreciate them all. I really do. Thank you so much. And all the ones in these tiers, I see you. Big up to you. Okay. Shout out to... Tyrion Ottery, It's Time, AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chuckler, Car- Carlos Rocha, Damaris, Samuel Stancox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max Wiser, Redax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyron Samuel, Stephen, I swear that ant comes near me, the flick it off the screen, uh, Ty- <laughs> Tyron, Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edwards, Ab Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Stacks on Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Casper Evan Davis, CCP269. I've got to do it fast because I promise you, there's loads. Good feels nice. Dominic, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shonda Owens, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Marcel SSK, Kevin Ward, Sassovi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Christy, Peter Moser, Snowy, Big Up, uh, D Swearing, Andrea Hardin, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, Esjar, Claudette Homiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, just flip you up in the air because that's a sick little floating spell. Shakira Sane, Jeff Tomtich, La Marvel Lee Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril. Cyril? I always get, you know what I mean. Alexander, look, big up to you. Alexander Alfori, Gilbert, Gilbert Baggins, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Powell, Russell Cohan. Joseph Marcus, uh, Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Gimme the Games, Videx West AM, Ali, Mo C, Ch- I'm trying to do it fast, Fiat Jason, Mike V, J Fave, Terry JC, Ollie, uh, Orville Broomfield, I'm getting there, Frank, <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm not even halfway, Frank Essa, Nasa, Ig- Ignacio, love that, because that's like a sick Harry Potter spell. G Crypto Lumen 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Loco, <laughs> Zach Adam, what am I laughing for? Man Sour, Jem de Jaguar, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, exactly us, just Flick that one out of your hand, you best believe. <laughs> what am I for? Stony Mac. <laughs> Can't help it. John Lowe, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Aiden, Ejikia Corey, Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, uh, Marky Cersei, hello, Ryan Williams, Tukan, Santino, Joel, or was it Joel? Let me know. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, Renee, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Lena111, or Lena, let me know, one of them, uh, Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto Crypto One, Hany Abu, Ricardo Vinegar, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgus, Crypto Moon, Night. Oh, new to you. <laughs> Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adedigi, Chiquita, Chiquita, hello. Uh, John Sandoval, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, SNCCC Mullen, Daddy Albus, uh, jo- <laughs> listen, I told you, some come and gone, I'm getting mixed tongue twisted. Joshua Ashar, uh, Black Ape, Bob Ross, Eloy, Mikey, you, Mickey? Mikey? Mikey! User X20... I always get that one mixed up. I've got to scroll up. Uh, User X2019, Blackstar, Chelles Creations, Akis Voderus. That's that spell. Just mash up your ear. <laughs> I can't say it, you know. Abba saying Moises De Lopez, Michael, Joseph Samara, Niona London, Chris Tap Dance. I'll just tap dance with you. <laughs> okay, i got to stop. <laughs> Iris, Montreal Amor. i got to have fun with it, guys. You're just a long-ass list. I mean, are you still sitting here? Because it's long! Joey J, Raj T, Br- Brian Reedy, Terry, Carnell Goodman, Matthew Walker. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. <laughs> Sarpay Singh, Dennis Boonman, Mark Peak, Ilya Chiu. Chiu? 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 No, no, no. Royal ID, Teddy Barrel, Hassan P, Makuga, Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, uh, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Artard, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A Kings, or A Kings? Let me know. Ice Cat Trader, Davidus. Hold on, it just says Davidus. Doesn't say okay. Well, mate, <laughs> half. Just give you half. You know, Connie, <laughs> uh, A L M U, William Johnson, Anthony Donne, Karen. Hold on, Karen Danik. Like I'm getting all tongue twist. Kimberly Gaiman, all for one. Cylinder to Schumer, Stefan Coinage, PC World. Because it's just PC, but it's just it's, I like it. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Marky twenty seven. <clears throat> Clear my throat. That's not a name. Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Tom Rodriguez. Uh, where am I? Uh, Golden Bags, Slow Measy, Null 21, Trevor Dawson, Ju Tam, Thierry, I told you, there's loads, and I'm halfway, <laughs> just, just say it, you know, you might enjoy it, Joe Yusuf, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, RF Joy, Danny Rich, Erlstein, Carnival 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kapashkama, Alex, Alexis Pagan, I think it's Pagan, Pagan, let me know, Seraf X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Big Up, Anish Patel, Aaron Nova, Mohammed Imran, uh, Ankush Jane, Corey, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Aylendi, I think that's right, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Laramie, uh, I'm getting there, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laform, T- Tony B, D Wheels, Mad- Riyad Medicasso, Medicasso, there you go, Hash Matala, Suraj Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masixo, Master J, 
Daniel Brown, Leon Plus, I told you, it's just slowing me down. Why you got too many of you? But I appreciate it. Let me just keep going. DG Crypto, <laughs> Adam Istvan, the, oh, Istvan, Theodore Wheaton. Hold on, what's, what's my bloody phone doing? Where am I? Here we go. LD, Vincent Millet. Yep, that's right. Mauricio, A Noop N, Steve, Steve Hayer. <laughs> There's so many. Aman Rizvi, Janetta. Hello, Janetta. Uh, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel v Vince McDowell. Yep, so I'm getting mixed up now. Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins, J Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs. Cookie. I can't say it every time. Christian, uh, Lee, Philip Staffer, Fund Me Now. I mean, if I, you know, I'll sort you out one day. <laughs> what other? Crypto Dive, uh, Maha Ramadan, uh, Fears Ahead, Jim. Jim, yeah. Harsha, uh, Bent Henson, Daniel Grigriu, I think that's right. Idol Piper, big up. I know you make crazy games with me. Uh, Sherry T. Zostek, will you all make games with me? I know you do. We win, we lose. You know, it's, it's, it happens. Can't win them all. Deshanovation, Dish Mustafa, Skylark. Old type DJ Skylark. I'm in the place with a DJ Skylark. Big up. The, okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just got to do it. Liz Reed. Look, I got to start scrolling down now. Uh, where am I? El Bengred, the A team, slash something else. Uh, Jacob Madaris, Dave Cathro, I think that's right. Richard Harmer, Carl Dawson, JP Dillene, Dil I think that's right. Joe Shorns, oh no, I'm getting there. I'm probably getting there. Akeem Banks, Michelle Van Den Acker, hello. Rosemary Henson, Justin Levin, Via Financial, yeah, Via Financial, I say Via in London. Raycorn, Mr. Pauniti, Massey, Tonye Adekibi, Seer Coins, I think that's right. James Richards, Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker. I don't know, I just felt like I could do like a, I had to do like a heaven noise. Oh, anyway, Theodis, Theodis, yep. Yeah. Rossi D, pa uh, Paolo Baptista, you are a Patreon, big up to you. Uh, Renton Bacco, because uh, I spoke to you in it. Inigo Zubieri, I think that's right. Stefan Grunfeld, Grunfeld, yep, yeah, got to get it right. RGC, Visual, uh, Lee Goodwin, those are two different names. RGC, Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba. Yeah, that's right. Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles. Oh, there's so many tongue twists. John Hong, Saif Rahman, uh, May Ravel. I think that's right. Uh, Laurie Littrop, Alicia Abigas. I think that's right. Uh, hold on. Nima, Ram Nima Rambagu, Des. <laughs> it's just too much. David Lang, Saita. I remember that. Danny Ruddick. Look, I'm scrolling down still. Uh, who's still here? <laughs> I told you there was too many. You thought I was joking. Kenny Brokaw. Broco, I think that's right. Broco. Aaron Nguyen. Nick Smith. S Sandbox. Nazar. Sam Lenio. Yeah. James Snowden. P. Pi. New names. Mr. Bonds. I'm almost like I see the end. Double starred. Mo, Mo Mill. Roy W. Tom Just. Uh, Mus is it Mustak Dean? Michael Knight. Medea. S. Terrell. Nate. Roberts. John Carty. Josh Davis. Batch One. VJ Kuma. Is it Fuchs? I don't want to say the other one if it's a swear word. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Devastator X, Francis B, Christopher Hamilton, Mr. Investor, Irina Lorenzo, Mark, Raffle Stepnikowski, Jordan Rutty, and Jean Gerard. Thank you all so, so much. It's mad, crazy, ludicrous, bomb with the name calls. I appreciate you all so much. Let me scroll to the top, just get there. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Cheers.